ओपीडीज आर फ्लडेड विथ कार्डियक पेशंट्स एवरी डे बट डू यू नो द फाइव ड्रग्स दैट डॉक्टर प्रिस्क्राइब द मोस्ट एंड वाय इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फाइव मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट एंड मोस्ट कॉमन कार्डियक ड्रग्स दैट यू विल सी इन युअर क्लिनिक एवरी सिंगल डे बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इफ यू हर कम फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन दिस चैनल देन डू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर मोर सच क्लिनिकल इनसाइट्स सो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो द फर्स्ट कार्डियक ड्रग इन अवर लिस्ट इज एम्लोडिपिन वॉट इज एम्लोडिपिन एम्लोडिपिन इज ए कैल्शियम चैनल ब्लॉकर वॉट आर द इंडिकेशन और वेन एम्लोडिपिन इज यूज इट इज यूज इन हाइपर टेन्शन एंड स्टेबल अंजाइना दीज आर इट्स इंडिकेशन वॉट इज द मेकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन it blocks the l type of calcium channels that ultimately leads to vasodilation what is the dose the dose is 5 to 10 mg per day this is the dose of amlodipine and what are the side effects there are three important side effects first is pedal edema second is headache and third is flushing and the important tip here is that the pedal edema that we see as a side effect is a dose dependent side effect and it is not always due to heart failure how this amlodipine is available in the market it is it is available in the market as a 5 mg tablet or it is also available as 10 mg tablet so this is our first drug that is amlodipine so now the second drug in our list is atenolol what is atenolol atenolol is beta 1 selective blocker what are the indications there are four indications of using atenolol first is hypertension second is angina third is arrhythmias and fourth is post myocardial infarction patients what is the mechanism the mechanism is that it blocks the beta 1 receptors and due to this there is decrease in the heart rate and also there is decreased in the contractility of heart the dose of this drug is 25 to 100 mg per day and what are the side effects there are three important side effects first is bradycardia many patients also complain of fatigue and in few patients there can be bronchospasm the uh, side effect of bronchospasm is very minimal in this drug because it is beta 1 selective and it has no action on beta 2 receptors and what is the important tip here the important tip is that you should never withdraw this drug abruptly because if you withdraw this drug abruptly then there can be rebound in the symptoms of hypertension angina or arrhythmias now how this drug is available in the market this drug is available in the market uh, uh, in various uh, strengths like 25 mg 50 mg or 100 mg so this was our second drug that is atenolol we are going to our next drug i would like to tell you that i have also started membership on my channel if you want to upgrade your knowledge with daily dose of mcq then you can check that membership by clicking on the join button so friends now we go to our next drug now the third drug in our list is aspirin especially the low dose aspirin what are the indications of using low dose aspirin it is used in the secondary prevention of coronary artery disease it is also used post myocardial infarction patients and also it is used after pci or angioplasty 
what is the mechanism of this drug mechanism is that it irreversibly inhibits the cox1 enzyme that decreases the platelet aggregation what is the dose of this drug the dose is 75 to 150 mg per day there are two important side effects of this drug first is gastritis and second due to uh, decreased platelet aggregation it can also lead to bleeding an important tip here is that you may require gastro protection in the form of um, pantoprazole in high risk patients so this was our third drug that is aspirin now how this drug is available in the market this drug is available in the market either as a 75 milligram tablet or also as a 150 milligram tablet so this was our third drug that is aspirin now the fourth drug in our list is atorvastatin now what are the indications of atorvastatin it is used in dyslipidemias second it is also used in post mi patients and it is also used in stroke prevention what is the mechanism of action the mechanism of action is that it inhibits the hmg coa reductase enzyme and this ultimately leads to decrease in the ldl the dose of this drug is 10 to 80 milligram per day and what are the side effects there are important side effects of this drug like myalgia in very rare cases there can also be rhabdomyolysis there can also be mild increase in the lfts an important tip here is that before starting this drug to the patient you should always see the baseline liver function test now how this drug is available in the market it is available in, in the market in various tablets like 10 milligram 20 milligram 40 milligram or 80 milligram so this was our fourth drug that is atorvastatin now the last but not the least the fifth drug in our list is nitroglycerin it is used in acute angina relief when patient comes with acute angina to decrease that chest pain you can use nitroglycerin what is the mechanism the mechanism is that it gets converted into nitric oxide which, which ultimately leads to smooth muscle relaxation and this ultimately leads to vasodilation and in this way the symptom of angina is uh, decreased then what is the dose the dose is that it is given 5 milligram sublingually not orally it is used uh, given as 5 milligram sublingual dose and this dose can be repeated every 5 minutes if there is no improvement in the anginal symptom then you can repeat this dose after 5 minutes and in this way you can give three such doses so this is the dose of this drug and what are the side effects this drug can lead to headache or hypotension and flushing an important tip here is that whenever you are giving this drug to a patient make that patient sit on a stool because if you give this drug make the and the patient is standing then immediately there can be hypotension and patient can go into synco and how this drug is available in the market this drug is available in the market like this it is available as a 0.5 milligram sublingual tablet so this was our fifth drug that is nitroglycerin so in summary we have seen five drugs the first was amlodipine and it is mainly used for the control of blood pressure then the second drug was atenolol it is used for heart rate and blood pressure control 
and also it is used for angina prevention. The third drug was aspirin. It is used as an antiplatelet for the secondary prevention. Then the fourth drug was aterostatin. It is used for a, as a lipid lowering drug and also for the plaque stabilization. And the last drug is nitroglycerin, which is used in rapid angina relief. So friends, these five drugs are the backbone of a outpatient cardiac care. But always remember an important thing that is right drug, right dose and right patient. If you find today's video helpful, then do share with your friends. And if you have come for the first time on this channel, then do subscribe this channel for more such clinical insights. See you friends in the next video. Till then, thank you.